Hello, this is Michael Grant, CAM Applications Engineer with Applied CAX. Today I'm going to cover a customer question in regards to the reuse library and uh, issues with uh, setup or finding uh, the catalog items in the reuse library. So this is uh, an X10 uh, that I have launched here and currently I'm in modeling. If uh, you don't have a modeling license and you're using like NX Cam Foundation or NX uh, Foundation, you'll want to go to application and then on the end there's more and then gateway. Either one of those you can access the reuse library. You'll see the reuse library browser um, on your left as one of your navigators. Once you have uh, you're in the reuse library, um, I'm in the uh, and this question is in regards to using the NX custom uh, for NX10 and uh, I'll provide a link for that uh, below the video. Um, but basically on the uh, community, the PLM, uh, Siemens PLM community, there's uh, a page for the NX Custom. And this, what this gives you is a, basically a portable environment that uh, has all of your customizations for NX. Uh, it could be your CAM customizations or possibly uh, your CAD and your uh, settings. Um, are, they're all contained in a, a folder structure that... Um, has variables written such that it will figure out where it is. So if you move it, you don't have to re-code uh, the location. Um, you just have to start from a batch file. Um, basically for CAM, you take your mock resource directory and copy it into it and then start using it. So this answer, uh, support answer, is uh, when using the NX custom environment. So I've set that up here in this library, and I've got the CAM reuse library, uh, work holding, and I can go to milling vice. Now, you won't see anything unless you expand this lower uh, bar, and it might be completely, uh, you know, you might, might not even see those. Uh, you might just see this bar at the bottom. If you click on that, you'll get these three, uh, I guess, navigators, and one of them is member select. So once you have the member select expanded, you could see um, your items from that folder and, and you can bring them in. Uh, if you don't see this library, then under your menu, file, utilities, and customer defaults, there is a tab under, under gateway for reuse library. And you'll want to make sure that you have, uh, for, for those using the custom environment, um, this line here. Now the first part of the line before the uh, bracket is uh, just the text that you'll see as the, the header or the label. And then after that is a variable that's, uh, again, written... Um, smart and we'll figure out where this uh, where your environment is located but then it will go into that uh, subdirectory the custom library and look for the reuse folder and so if I go I'll show you where that's at so here I'm in the the source of ours uh, custom environment as we have a shop here and we use it day in and day out and uh, if I go into the library itself so now I'm in the NX100 library, and then I have reuse. So under reuse, I've just uh, placed my CAM reuse library. Now, um, I believe that comes with the custom environment. Um, if not, uh, again, this is a download. I'm just searching uh, Google CAM reuse library. I believe this will take me to the uh, download. Here's walking through uh, the installation <clears throat> and uh, the download. And here, uh, this will walk you through all the setup also, but here's the CAM reuse library. So I'll also provide this link along with, uh, it has a video. 
So uh, that should be it. You know, once you've uh, placed your camera use library, just make sure that every user of the uh, environment has that variable enabled under customer defaults. So they have this, and then they also have the library located there. All right, thank you very much.